You don't know what it means to sacrifice for family, to really sacrifice. You've always had my back, and I've always had yours. Wow! He? Matt? He's on the road. Uh, did you hear from him? No. I didn't know you had company. Time to end your little game make-believe. Let me go! You don't have what it takes to make it to prime time. Don your ring attire, strap up your wrestling boots, and let's get ready to rumble as Powerbomb body slams its way to the screen. Real-life Olympic gold medal winning athlete turned professional wrestler Matt Capicioni, perhaps best widely known by fans, is revolutionising the brawling pastime of backyard wrestling. Stars here as an underachieving independent circuit wrestler who one day gets abducted after an event by an avid fan. Capicioni uses his real life in ring title belt winning performer, name of Matt Cross, in the movie likely mirroring his early career, struggle on the road, travelling the roads to get to events and make ends meet. At a small town school hall, he pitches in with the rest of the wrestling card and shows just how good he is, but his potential, real deal, seeking to make his way to the big promotion leagues, having tasted his addictive pleasures briefly before. His fallen out of favour with the wrestling cooperative and networks where the big bucks are. He's balancing family life and struggling to pay the bills, living with his wife and former mixed tag team wrestling companion Amy, herself still a talent that her best friend encourages her to get back into the ring to fulfil her dream. And the young daughter, Matt, is frustrated. The small time agent, Solomon, does not match Matt's ambition and is screwing him out of his full match fees without him knowing. Can things really get any tougher? They certainly can and do when a fan turns fanatic on him in Powerbomb. After another small venue evening of wrestling, Matt is caught off guard as he returns to his car. An oddly acting fan creeps up behind him and injects him with a knockout drug, rendering the wrestler unsteady on his feet. And his assaulter throws him into the boot of a car. Matt comes to in the basement of an unknown residence and finds himself chained up to the wall in a room that is like a shrine to wrestling, and he appears to be the icon of adulation. His captor soon enters the basement room, himself wearing ill-fitting wrestling attire and a Mexican luchador face mask, which he soon takes off to reveal himself to Matt, and professes himself to be his biggest fan. The problem is, he feels that Matt is not fulfilling his true talent and underperforming for his fans, letting his given talent go to waste, and that Matt does not truly appreciate the God-given gift that he has. He wants to be Matt's trainer and life coach to help him realise his dreams and full potential, but in order to succeed, Matt is expected to suffer more for the cause and embrace what wrestling means to the fans. His captor reveals his name to be Paul, and Paul wants to see much more effort and energy from Matt as a wrestler, for him to appreciate what he has and to always deliver his best for his fans. He proclaims to be to the bewildered Matt that effort and energy can improve the world and bring light into the lives of regular people who struggle day to day. For them and Paul, his fans, wrestling is a release from reality, a way to escape the daily grind. Paul wants Matt to wake up 
and to do what he feels. The gift of wrestling he has been blessed with deserves of him and become the hero for the fans to cheer for and look up to. Powerbomb is a poignant parallel play in many ways to the highs and lows of the wrestling entertainment business and the picture proffers in a positive way by being the benefactor quite aptly of an indigo crowd funding project. Deservedly greenlit and welcomely brought to film production and fruition in this completed version. It's a behind the curtain look at the highs and lows, extremes of both wrestlers and fans alike. As both Matt and Paul spend more time together, we the audience get to learn two sides of a struggle for acceptance in a harsh world where nothing is just given, it has to be earned. Wrestling itself is not all about the highs, but also about the sacrifices and compromises. To build the dream, you can't always get to live the dream. Both Matt and Paul reveal their struggles and also, of course, come to realise just how much their passion for wrestling drives them on. But can they both survive this no-holds-barred match to the extreme rules ending? Powerbomb lays the indie smackdown with a 6 out of 10 performance for a prime time audience. And for sure, to be the man, you've got to beat the fan. Oh, <laughs>